story the morning departure. It was a bright, bustling morning at Dubai International Airport. Emirates flight EK202, an Airbus A380, was preparing for its routine journey from Dubai to London Heathrow. The colossal aircraft, known for its elegance and size, was filled with passengers eager to begin their travels, families on vacation, business professionals, and tourists embarking on new adventures. In the cockpit, Captain Ahmed Mansour and his first officer, Sarah Bennett, were going through their final pre-flight checks. With over two decades of flying experience, Captain Mansour was one of Emirates' most trusted pilots. Everything seemed normal as the aircraft taxied to the runway, awaiting clearance for takeoff. A sudden turn of events. Flight EK-202, you are cleared for takeoff, crackled the voice from air traffic control, ATC. The engines roared to life, and the Airbus A380 began its takeoff roll. The plane accelerated down the runway, gathering speed, its wings cutting. Through the morning air. Passengers settled back into their seats, some gazing out of the windows, watching as the ground blurred beneath them. But just as the plane neared the point of liftoff, a loud, unnerving noise echoed through the cabin. The aircraft shuddered violently, and passengers jolted in their seats. From the cockpit, Captain Mansour and First Officer Bennett quickly realized something was wrong. A series of alarms began blaring, one of the engines on the left side had suddenly lost power. Engine failure, said Captain Mansour, his voice tense. He immediately pulled back on the throttle, trying to abort the takeoff. But it was too late. The plane had already reached a speed where stopping on the runway was impossible. They would have to attempt a takeoff and then figure out what to do next. Panic on board as the plane struggled to lift off, another problem became apparent. The damaged engine had not only lost power but had also caught fire. Flames could be seen from the left wing, and thick black smoke began trailing behind the aircraft. Passengers gasped and screamed as they noticed the fire, and panic rippled through the cabin. The flight attendants, who had trained for emergencies like this, moved quickly to calm the passengers, urging everyone to remain seated and follow safety protocols. Despite the chaos, they maintained a sense of calm professionalism, their faces betraying no sign of fear. Up in the cockpit, Captain Mansour was fighting to maintain control. The aircraft was off balance, pulling to the left. First Officer Bennett began coordinating with ATC, informing them of the engine fire and requesting an immediate emergency return to the airport. Mayday, Mayday, this is Emirates EK-202. We have an engine fire. Requesting emergency landing at Dubai International, she said, her voice steady, but with a clear urgency. The emergency maneuver. The ATC quickly responded, clearing the airspace for an emergency landing. EK-202, you are cleared for emergency landing. Fire crews are on standby, came the response. The entire airport was on high alert, and emergency vehicles rushed to the runway, preparing for the worst. Captain Mansour carefully circled the plane back toward the airport, fighting against the reduced power and drag caused by the damaged engine. The plane descended rapidly, and as it approached the runway, all eyes at the airport were on the massive aircraft. Onlookers could see the flames licking the wing, and smoke continued to billow out. In the cabin, passengers braced themselves for impact. Some clutched their armrests, while others closed their eyes, whispering prayers. The tension was palpable, and every second felt like an eternity. The final approach. As the A380 approached the runway, Captain Mansour lowered the landing gear and prepared for a rapid descent. The fire had spread further along the wing, and there was no time to delay. The plane was coming in faster than usual, but there was no other choice, they had to get it on the ground as quickly as possible. The massive aircraft touched down hard, the landing gear screeching against the tarmac. The impact was rough, and the plane bounced once before settling back down. Captain Mansour applied maximum reverse thrust, 
trying to slow the plane down, but the damage to the engine made it difficult to control. As the plane sped down the runway, it began veering to the left, skidding dangerously. Despite the captain's efforts, the aircraft slid off the runway and crashed into a main... Inside the cabin, the crash had thrown passengers around, and there were injuries, but the structure of the plane had miraculously remained intact. The crew immediately began the evacuation procedure. Flight attendants guided passengers toward the emergency exits, inflating the evacuation slides and helping people escape the smoldering wreckage. People slid down the slides, stumbling onto the tarmac, some crying, others in shock, but grateful to be alive. Captain Mansour and First Officer Bennett were the last to leave the cockpit, ensuring that everyone was off the plane before they made their escape. The sight of the massive Airbus A380, now partially destroyed and still smoking, was a chilling reminder of how close they had come to complete disaster. Aftermath and Investigation News of the crash spread rapidly across the globe. The sight of the burned, twisted aircraft and the billowing smoke dominated headlines, and people around the world anxiously awaited updates. Fortunately, most passengers had survived, thanks in part to the quick response of the crew and the emergency teams at the airport. However, there were some casualties, and the loss weighed heavily on everyone involved. An investigation was immediately launched to determine the cause of the engine fire. Preliminary findings pointed to a mechanical fault in the engine's fuel system, which had led to the sudden ignition during takeoff. Emirates, along with Airbus, began working closely with aviation authorities to inspect and rectify any similar issues in other aircraft. Captain Mansour and First Officer Bennett were hailed as heroes for their quick thinking and bravery. They had managed to land the plane under nearly impossible conditions, saving countless lives. For many, their actions turned what could have been a catastrophic disaster into a survival story. Lessons and Memorials In the weeks following the crash, memorial services were held for those who lost their lives. Emirates Airlines took full responsibility and offered support to the families affected by the tragedy. The company vowed to improve safety protocols and conduct more rigorous checks on their aircraft engines to prevent such incidents from happening again. The crash also led to increased scrutiny on aircraft safety, prompting other airlines to conduct thorough inspections of their fleets. While aviation accidents are rare, the incident served as a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of flight and the importance of being prepared for every scenario. The runway at Dubai International, where the crash had occurred, was shut down for several days for repairs. But even after the tarmac was fixed, the memory of the tragic day lingered. For the passengers who had survived, it was an experience they would never forget, a terrifying brush with death, but also a story of resilience, hope, and the courage of those who fought to save them. A flight. To remember. Years later, Flight EK-202 was remembered not just as a tragic accident but as a story of survival. It became a case study for aviation safety, with pilots and airline staff across the world learning from the incident. The names of Captain Mansour and First Officer Bennett were etched in the annals of aviation history, a testament to their skill and composure under pressure. And though the plane had been destroyed, the spirit of those who survived, and those who risked their lives to ensure safety, continued to soar high, reminding the world that even in the face of disaster, there is hope, courage, and the will to survive.